Something strange is going on with the planet's oxygen levels, which has left researchers scratching their heads as to the cause. Scientists testing the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere have found that levels have dropped by almost 0.7% over the past 800,000 years compared to modern levels. What's more, the rate of this decline has sped up over the last century, dropping by a further 0.1%. Oxygen levels currently stand at around 21%, but have fluctuated greatly over the planet's 4.3 billion year history with two major spikes linked with the explosion of life. To sample the ancient atmosphere, a team led by researchers at Princeton University in New Jersey studied bubbles of gas frozen in the ice of Greenland and Antarctica thousands of years ago. By measuring changes in the atmospheric concentrations of oxygen and nitrogen, they showed a subtle declining trend over thousands of years. The researchers believe that burning fossil fuels has led to the rapid increase seen over the last century by consuming oxygen and releasing large quantities of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. But the cause of the longer-term decline has been trickier to pin down. Unlike the recent decline, there is no evidence to suggest carbon dioxide levels increase substantially during the period. But the researchers believe a series of slow chemical reactions between the atmosphere and rocks known as silicate weathering could explain this lack of carbon dioxide. The planet has various processes that can keep carbon dioxide levels in check, said Dr. Daniel Stolper, a geoscientist at Princeton. Over thousands of years, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere reacts with exposed rock to form calcium carbonate minerals, trapping the carbon in a solid form. In geological time scales, this process soaks up atmospheric carbon, locking it away in rock. Scientists believe that as more carbon dioxide has been released into atmosphere from burning fossil fuels, the increasing temperature has led to the weathering process occurring more rapidly. But human activity is releasing carbon dioxide into the atmosphere so quickly that we may cause this slow, long-term geological process to short-circuit, and so they cannot keep up. One potential explanation put forward for the declining oxygen in the recent geological past is an increase in erosion, which would lead to freshly exposed sediment being oxidized by the atmosphere, reducing atmospheric oxygen levels. Another long-term process to factor in is interaction with the oceans. With lower average global temperatures in the past, the world's oceans would have been able to absorb more oxygen as cooler waters able to soak up more gas. The record represents an important benchmark for the study of the history of atmospheric oxygen, said Dr. John Higgins, co-author of the study. Understanding the history of oxygen in Earth's atmosphere is intimately connected to understanding the evolution of complex life. It's one of these big, fundamental ongoing questions in Earth science.